MBT stat is a utility that you'll use when you're in an environment that uses NetBIOS communicating over TCP IP. This is generally a Windows device that's using this NetBIOS over TCP IP to communicate with other Windows devices. MBT stat is included with the operating system to help you understand what other devices might be out there so that you can query them by name or by IP address to understand more about who might be logged in to that particular device, what work group or what domain it might be a member of. You can look at your local device and get information at the command line about what the local machine is doing or you can send queries across the network and reference that by IP address or by name. If you're on a local machine and you simply do an nbtstat-n, you'll see all of the local names on your device. If there's a remote device that you know the IP address of and you'd like to know more about that IP address, you can do an nbtstat with a dash capital A and the IP address, and that will show you the NetBIOS names that are registered on that remote device. If you don't know the IP address of that remote device, you just know the name, use mbtstat with a dash lowercase a and the name of the device. And that will query that remote device instead of using IP address or using the name of the device and getting exactly the same information. This is a Windows utility. You won't use this utility in a Linux type environment, but if you do it on Windows and you simply do an NBT stat with no options, it will tell you all of those things like the lowercase a, the capital A, and some other options as well. Let's try one. Let's do an NBT stat and a dash n to look at our local device. Our local device is the Atlantis Lab PC, and it's in the SGC group. You can see the names are associated and registered on that local device. But what if it's a remote device? We don't know anything about that device, but I do have an IP address. I can do an NBT stat dash capital A and a 10.1.10.62. And we see that that device, which is somewhere else on my network, is a device called, it's in the Florida work group, and the person who's logged into that device, or that device name rather, is Judy. So I can use that same device name. If I knew the name, I could have used it to begin with, with an MBT stat and a lowercase a, and simply used Judy as the name of that device, and it would have queried by name. It's this MBT stat command that allows us to communicate using these NetBIOS parameters over TCP IP. Normally, NetBIOS is a protocol that would not be routed, but with NetBIOS and TCP IP and the way that Windows uses it, we can query devices anywhere on our network by simply using their name or their IP address.